Metro and ride-on bus drivers are starting training as the new Paul Sarbanes Transportation Hub in Silver Spring gets closer to its first day of operation. I've been waiting for it for, for a while, but I hope it's going to get over soon and, um, you know, then we, we would be happy. You looking forward to the opening of the new transit hub? If it ever occurs. <laughs> been waiting a long time? Yes, because I use the bus and the subway every day. It has been a waiting game. Over four years behind schedule and tens of millions of dollars over budget, the new hub will... Make it a lot simpler for people coming from work and things like that. Once they get off the metro road, they can jump right on their bus. They'll have to run through a parking lot, you know, to get where they need to go and get wet and things like that. So it does make it a lot easier. It hasn't been easy for metro commuters leaving the metro station. They have to walk a quarter mile to a half a mile all the way around the transit center to catch their next bus. In good weather, it might be fine, but when it's raining or snowing, that really puts a damper on their commute. I think it's going to be easier instead of like coming all the way up here. Let's say if you have like to go to the train down there, you don't have to come all the way up here. You can just go where like the train station is right next to it. This three level multimodal public transit complex will link Metro Rail, Mark trains and Metro and ride on buses. The facility also includes a taxi stand and kiss and ride lot. Still, with all the amenities, the skeptics are... I'm pretty anxious. I'm ready. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it to be up. Uh, they're always saying, oh, yeah, it's going to open next month. It's going to open next summer. It's going to open next month. It's going to open the day after tomorrow. It's going to open next week. I think it'll help friends a whole lot once the new station opens back up fully. No date has been set for the facility's opening, but Montgomery County is expected to hand the facility over to Metro soon. For MyMC Media, I'm Cindy Pena.